Hi, I'm Gina Zark, the Director of Social Media at New York Presbyterian Hospital in New York City. And I'm Jessica Fillinger, the Community Manager at New York Presbyterian Hospital. And we were really excited to be here at Mayo Reagan this year to present on how to make cause-related marketing social. And specifically what we did was we talked about our One for Eight app, um, which was an app that encourages organ donation. Um, it lives on Facebook and it's a way to calculate how many lives you and your friends can save if all of them became organ donors on your Facebook page. So we also talked about our content strategy, which mainly focused around patient stories, but we also talked about what we did on Twitter, um, including engaging and initiating conversation. We also had a TV special that we talked about and how we made that social. Um, we were really fortunate too in the campaign to have a lot of support from partners that we had reached out to. So we partnered with the New York Organ Donor Network, with Donate Life, which is the national um, group that works on promoting organ donation throughout the country. Um, and really we wanted to create a campaign that wasn't necessarily about New York Presbyterian, but really at the end of the day just drove home the message that we need to register more organ donors, and as one of the biggest transplant centers in the country, the more organ donors we register, the more lives that we can help save through transplant. I think the message um, that we would like everyone to take away is that we were a brand new program at New York Presbyterian. Um, our program had only been around for a few months by the time um, Jessica and I decided that we wanted to do something around Donate Life Month. We are a two-person team at New York Presbyterian and we are really proud of the campaign that we created. We did over 70 bits of content, we told dozens of patient stories, and really created an app that engaged not only our external community and partners, but also our internal um, hospital communities and employees. They were really excited by what we were doing, and I think it really helped to change the culture at New York Presbyterian. You know, that social media was a new way to communicate, um, and just another avenue that we can try to communicate to make our hospital feel a little bit smaller and intimate. We also touched on how to make your cause-related campaign uh, not only social, but make it an integrated campaign, uh, putting elements of the campaign offline. So we talked a little bit about how we made t-shirts and how we did tabling events, and all, also do it online, not only promoting socially, but on your website and possibly your employee intranet. Right, and a lot of the things that we did um, were free. We did not have a huge budget. The app that we created cost a few thousand dollars. Um, it was two people. We didn't have a team of 20 helping us, and it was really something that grew organically throughout the way. So um, I think it's, it's, it's hopeful for people that you know they can take it back to their teams. You don't need a ton of money. You don't need a team of people. All you need is a good idea um, and the energy and enthusiasm to support it um, long term over a month or longer.